Hey, good morning. Uh, my name is Ed Relage and I'm a certified drone pilot. And my fleet, if you want to call it that, consists of two Skydio uh, UAS devices or drones as we know them. Today I want to talk about uh, pilot error by a, an experienced uh, drone pilot such as myself. The FAA training materials include a list of five uh, what they call hazardous attitudes of pilots. And uh, in this video, I'm going to show you where I was guilty of two of them, as experienced as I am. As you can see, I was flying along Columbia River, outside of uh, Hood River, and caught this uh, great video shot of a boat that was parked off of Hood River, taking on passengers. But I got intrigued by the bridge behind the boat and uh, through a sense of macho of my feeling I need to do that and a sense of invulnerability since the Skydio 2 Plus is so good at obstacle avoidance. I got myself into trouble. The Skydio 2 Plus crashed and only because it's a remarkable device did it self-correct and save itself. So stay tuned. Let's, uh, let's review what happened here. And uh, I think you'll be amazed at what the Skydio 2 Plus was able to pull off, mostly by itself. I returned to near launch position and decided to head for the bridge. And originally I was going to fly right underneath the span. This is where Bravado got into play. I decided, well, shoot. I'll head right for the span and let the Skydio 2 Plus obstacle avoidance figure out what's going on. And this is where I ran into significant trouble. Part of the problem is, is that a number of the objects that you're going to see here did not show up well on the little cell phone screen. And so I got myself into trouble. As you can see, I ran into a cable and almost almost lost the Skydio 2 Plus, trapped within the understructure of the bridge. It still managed to recover, and then it took the obstacle avoidance features to figure out the best way to get out. I'm going to play this all back at slow motion so that you can see exactly what the uh, Skydio 2 Plus was able to um, to do in terms of its recovery and also to pretty much help me figure out an escape route. But this is a classic example of how you can get into trouble by uh, getting a little bit too bold. There's one of the culprits right there in terms of probably the crash, which I didn't see on the cell phone. Eventually, the uh, the Skydio 2 Plus was able to figure out a pathway or it could safely fly out of the box that it was in without uh, going through another crash. But as you can see, it took a little bit of engineering on its part and a little bit of additional piloting on my part. Once again, many of these uh, small objects do not appear well on the cell phone screen that you've got with the controller device. But I was able to find a window of escape and made an escape. Free, free at last. All right. Let's go back and take another look at the uh, at the crash at ultimate slow motion. This is almost a frame by frame rendition of the actual crash as captured by the front camera of the Skydio 2 Plus. You can see that the device appears to have flipped right over and then began to orient itself. It probably hit that cable that you saw with the battery, which hangs off the bottom 
on the Skydio 2 Plus. It's rather compact and close to the fuselage, but it still uh, hangs below. Nevertheless, the Skydio 2 Plus went about a number of exercises here to correct itself, and it did so in a very tight uh, space with a lot of beams and, uh, as we saw, <laughs> cables. There's another culprit right there. Something was hanging down from above. Some of the cables and, of course, that piece that was hanging down from above, I did not see on the small screen on the uh, cell phone, which is connected to the controller. By now, you can see that the Skydio 2 Plus has reoriented itself within the tight space of multiple beams and cables, and has uh, pretty much acquired a static position. Just an amazing piece of recovery uh, using the uh, obstacle avoidance and AI systems on board the Skydio 2 Plus. And I, through this, I was then able to try to escape. Did not want to go out this uh, large hole here. And one of the reasons being is that there was a piece of tape hanging down that again, I could not see but the obstacle avoidance picked it up. So I had to turn and head for another escape route. Again, because the Skydio 2 Plus has just excellent obstacle avoidance, I was able to check for ways to escape that had uh, no particular obstacles, like this piece of tape that we're going to see hanging down. There it is. There's the tape that the, the device aside that I did not. Once I understood that that uh, was hanging in the way of the ob obvious escape route, I took a look around for some other uh, escape routes through the beams and was able to pick out another one. Let's see, I think it was to the Checking it around and looking for a good escape route. But as you can see, by this time the Skydio 2 Plus is pretty static. It's not in immediate jeopardy. It's just a matter of trying to fly out from under all of these uh, various obstructions. I finally decided on this particular approach. Um, over this particular cross beam and through into the next compartment of the bridge. I didn't see the cable that you see on the left, but the Skydio 2 Plus did. And I saw this picture window of escape and was able to execute an escape. So this little video will show you how you can get into trouble. It also shows you how you can get out of trouble if you have a Skydio 2 Plus. I hope this was helpful. Ho, ho, ho.